I'll come back and we're just gonna go straight back into the hospital. And this time, hopefully, see what actually happens if you jump on the desk. One, two, three. Well, never mind. I've had enough. Come here, you little angle biter. Okay. Okay. Every good story is a good lesson. Never kidding with an angry, tired, hungry colleague. Expect you want to learn the lesson. Uh, recover? Okay, so it's a literal game over. Oof. That is uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I learned my lesson. Don't kick me in the face anymore. Because that's how I think I ended my life. By her kicking me in the face. There's a squabbler. Squabbler? My buddy Ralph told me about your little argument. Apparently he got a pretty good bashing from Carl. He was in a really bad mood today. Maybe next time you'd better stay out of each other's way. Ralph is a nice guy, but he drinks way too much. Anyways, Dr. Krakowski has done the handover. He's in the general meeting this evening with all the senior physicians. Dr. Theobald and Mr. Heinrich are there too. So it's going to take a while. And you'll have to manage without her. So I'm supposed to give you your shifts for tonight. Have fun, kid, and don't kill anyone. The shifts for tonight are... Mm -hmm. Downloading today's schedule. We have 301, 302, and 31. All of our old patients. What is Miss Girl doing here? You work here. I've just started, but at least I get to wear the scrubs already. Why, Scracker? I've been waiting half an hour. Talk to of medicine. Do you know where she is? Where he is? No, sorry. Dr. Theobald is always very busy. I myself have only ever met him during the Chief of Medicine's rounds. I've been standing around here forever, and the first person I run into is a rookie. Fantastic. Is there anything I can help you? No, not unless you get promoted to Chief of Medicine today. Probably won't. <laughs> sorry. It was a complete accident. Did not want to jump on that desk again. Mm -hmm. And everyone is in the conference, right? <laughs> Sorry about that. You want me to take a look at your hand? I thought you get lost. Okay. If you do need help, you can come to me. I don't think he needs help. Or I don't think he wants help. He probably needs doesn't want help. Da -da -da. Can I take the elevator? I can. And it didn't broke that break down. Yay! Hey, P31. Hey there, mister. Good evening, Miss Delwyn. Oh, doctor. I've already forgotten that it's raining outside. I'm glad to see you too. Was your pudding hunt successful? I'm afraid not. But, you know, another day, another pudding. I'll keep my fingers crossed. What can I do for you today? I'd like to discuss the results of yesterday's blood test. Sounds great. Your blood sugar levels are abnormal. Nothing alarming yet, but let's find out what's wrong with you. Gladly. I'm prepared for it. Hey. And these are all of the other brain too. 
Hey. Awesome. Already made this one, and we do have three other heads. Hey. Two. Teeth. And two brains. It's not teeth. Okay, so this is definitely not teeth. It is brain. It says brain, arm, and legs. So let's go brain, leg, arm, stomach. Okay. And this should be arm and brain. Not brain. Did I miss two? I, I think I did something wrong. It's tooth then. Okay. I, think I made a mistake right at the start, huh? Well, it's a B still, so good enough. Okay. I now know what's wrong with you. I'm afraid you're suffering from a form of diabetes. Diabetes? That's serious. Diabetes is not a rare disease. There are many treatments available now. I think you can go home tomorrow. But you have to be treated with medication as soon as possible. That'll keep your blood sugar level stable. And the discomfort will go away. And the blueberry pudding. I'm afraid you'll have to be a little more careful with those in the future. But since your blood sugar is too low right now, you'll get two today. Okay. That does sound better. Thank you. You'll be back on your feet soon. I promise. Hey. Diabetes. Huh? It's funny how this cutesy game goes so serious with actual medical stuff. Okay. 301. Let's visit the wolfie character. Kathy here? I think it's a wolf. Good evening. How are you two? I'm feeling a little better. Your colleagues have been taking good care of me. I'm glad to hear that. And the pain? Still there, but at least I've managed to turn myself over in the meantime. It opens up a whole new world, I tell you. Yes, pain sometimes shows us how good we actually have it without it. Wise words. Let me treat your rash. Of course. I feel fine, but I haven't gotten up in two days either. So, a look probably won't hurt. E. O. N. E. Q. And Z. Z. B. A. And K. Treatment complete. B. I pressed the wrong Z again because my keyboard has the Z on a different place because it's a Slovak keyboard. There you go. You're on the road to recovery. Nevertheless, I'm afraid you'll have to stay here for a few more days. Shingles are not to be trifled with, but it sounds nice. It reminds me of Christmas. Shingles? Why? Don't you know? I guess shingle bells were the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> dot dot dot. Keep resting up. Have a great day. Shingle bells. Shingle bells. Shingle bells. So red all the way. <laughs> and 302. Mr. Bear, where are you? There you are. Good evening, Miss Emmett. Not a good evening at all. I'm miserable as hell. I'm in a lot of pain. And nauseous too. I guess we'll have 
to increase the dose of your painkillers after all. Can you put it up quickly, please? I'm really not well. Okay, I'll talk to the nurses right away, but let's not overdo it. I'll change your dressing for now. Go ahead, I'll just picture someplace nice. Bed. E. N. S. I. And H. E. O. And J. E again. I thought that was quicker and I did make a mistake. But okay. I need to stop reading it and actually just press, press them. Oh. Okay. Done. Now could you please tell the nurses. I've already put it in your file. It'll be taken care of. Ouch. Pretty quick. Hello, mister. I hope you're well. Now what? I did my rounds. Winley, there's a problem. What's up? Mr. Anders. Mr. Anders is up? What do you mean? Mr. Anders is up and gone. Mr. Anders a patient? And aren't this a patient? Yes, now focus. He was lying in his bed just now. I only left for a moment, and then he was gone. Do you have any idea where he could be? Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Well, that's the first place I looked, of course. The man is old and suffering from dementia. He shouldn't be wandering around here all alone. I've already searched the whole ground floor to trace him. I'll help you. We will find him. Great. Mia is already on the lookout too. Oh man, if Krakowski finds out, I'll be a head shorter. Hmm. My intuition tells me that he is up. He went upstairs to the other ward. Because if he's old, he might have been like a child or something or worked here. And we went up. Let's see. But I can see there's someone inside. Mr. Arndis, is that you? See? Still locked. Maybe the elevator gotta get me there? I told you. My intuition wins again. I'm so intuitive. Elevator, so I think I can go. Uh, like this. This. And elevator. That was not a nice sound. E. For a moment, I thought the elevator was going to come crashing down. Why is it stop here? Is that the fifth floor ward? Oh, do whole thing about it. Two marks? The door looks like it used to be blocked. Maybe the patient ended up in here? I'll have to check. That's why we are here. Now we can go out and in. Why do my eyes glow? A little creepy. Toilet. Cannot open these. What is this? These notes have been here for a while. So, do you want to read them or something? There's a wall, so I can't, like, jump up higher. I hit my head. This one is open. I do want to check. Hello? 
Hello. Hello. That's a lot of blood. Okay, what's the... I'm going back. Why does this game do this? There's a strange smell coming from the room. It smells like damp air, kind of musty. If this very cute game becomes a horror game, then I'll be very mad because I do not play horror games. <laughs> Is that blood? It's fresh. What did you do, Mr. Anders or Aaron or whatever your name is? I. What the? Damn, that's Mr. Arnie. He did. I need to get him out of here quickly. Hello? Someone here. And I got hit over the head. What is this game? Well, Porcupine, last days of summer. And I'm guessing that's the end of the demo. Very interesting. And we're gonna be continuing the story with the actual game in the next episode. So, then I'm already scared.